Welcome to the secret for getting great results from henna hair dye and indigo video. I discovered the secret for getting great results from henna hair dye and indigo and you will learn it too. I used henna before to dye my hair and it was great, but this time the results were much more greater. And, it's not because I used it with indigo powder in a two-step process. Many reviewers were unhappy with their results saying, the henna smelled bad. Well, of course, henna has a bad smell. Well, of course, henna has a bad smell. Anyone who is familiar with the smell of grass or hay will agree that, that's the smell that henna gives off. And, considering that henna comes from green leaves, it should not be expected to smell like flowers. Other reviewers said after letting it soak for 2-3 to three hours they rinsed it out after 3 hours on the hair and were unhappy with results. Yes, there are directions but hair is different across the board. And, that's where most people go wrong when it comes to getting the dye released from the powder and into the hair. I know you want to know the secret for getting great results from henna hair dye and indigo and I have to explain it so just keep watching. Before, whenever I dyed my hair with only henna, I would mix henna powder with olive oil, warm water, apple cider vinegar, and tie it in a plastic bag overnight. This time, I decided to dye my hair with henna and indigo powder using the two-step process. I mixed the henna with hot water, apple cider vinegar, two black tea bags, and organic coconut oil. Since I didn't have olive oil, after letting it sit for 24 hours, I kept it in my hair overnight before rinsing it out and the result was incredible. After two days, I mixed indigo powder with apple cider vinegar, salt, water and allowed the indigo mixture to soak for 30 minutes. Then I applied it to my hair, rinsed it out after 3 hours, and it was a success. So it's all in the timing. Just look what the hair looks like after indigo powder is added 2 days after henna rinse. Moving on, I treat my hair 3 times a week with a leave-in conditioner. I usually dye my hair every 2 weeks, so come back for an update about how long this henna and indigo dye will last, as well as new findings as it's my first time using this combo to color gray hair. If you find value please like and subscribe. This video is solely for informational purposes and should not be taken as advice. Thanks for watching the secret for getting great results from henna hair dye and indigo powder to dye gray hair.